A child who was severely injured during a police raid in Georgia is back in Wisconsin recovering from his injuries. And News 3's Valina Jones has more on how the Janesville family is moving forward after tragedy struck almost three months ago. Valina? That's right, Danica. The Ponsavon family says they still have a long road ahead of them as they deal with trying to pay for over $80,000 in medical expenses after their son was injured in Atlanta by a search warrant gone wrong. But today during a fundraising event, the family said they remain hopeful. It's a day-to-day -day struggle that we just take one day at a time. After three months of hospital appointments and surgeries, the Ponsavon family is still on the long road to recovery. He's looking at facial and chest plastic reconstructive surgery, skin grafts every couple of years for a very long portion of his life until he stops developing. Severely injured after a flash grenade exploded in the then 19-month-old baby Boo Boo's playpen at the hands of an Atlanta Sheriff's Department while executing a no-knock search warrant at the wrong house. The people that were responsible for injuring baby Boo Boo have declined to pay any money at all. And so that's in, with respect to his baby Boo Boo's medical expenses. Um, Dad is hurt and injured from his contact with law enforcement. Um, I mean, this is a tough, tough time for this family. Alicia and her family are now turning to the community for support through fundraisers. A small weight lifted off the mother of four's shoulders. A sense of hope that I know I'm not alone in this fight. My family and I have a chance to be okay. And it, it's just, it's uplifting. The family still has a long way to go, but Alicia says she's still counting her blessings. He is. Yeah. He's a very strong fighter. He's a survivor. I'm, I'm so proud of him. He's not even two years old. And I'm very blessed that I can sit here and hold him today. Now, the attorney for the family says they are waiting for the Habersham District Attorney's Office to decide if they will be charging anyone in the explosion. Once they receive records from the Georgia Bureau of Investigation Office, they are planning on filing a civil lawsuit. Now, all of this could take years to come to some sort of conclusion. So right now, family members are relying on donations to continue paying for medical fees and living expenses. And you can donate those at justiceforbabyboo.com. Thank you so much for that information. A resilient little boy there. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Valina Jones live in the news center first.